Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of August 15th. We're going to jump right in here, Virgo, and we are going to get started and see what is going on for you. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. I don't mind having the Ten of Pentacles as a crossing energy. Uh, actually, not that big of a deal, and uh, Ten of Pentacles is pretty much always a kind of good card. The crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a reading. And again, with the Ten of Pentacles, there's a very simple solution that we will go over here in just a second. But you have the Judgment card. I feel like you're waking up <laughs> here. I just get major um, wake up vibes from your reading in general. Star, Ace of Wands, and even the Page of Pentacles, believe it or not. Page of Pentacles, I would say he's not like the most enthusiastic page, but he's more enthusiastic than the Knight of Pentacles they have right here. So I kind of get more enthusiasm. I definitely feel you could be kind of waking up to a purpose or, uh, you know, waking up to something that you want to create in your life, whatever it is. The reason I say create is because of that Ace of Wands. Again, Ace of Wands is kind of in with the new, out with the old type of energy. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Again, with your crossing energy, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles could be, again, what hurts you or helps you in the reading. Ten of Pentacles can actually represent hidden or secret information. You can see here that there's this old man over here. And you can read the Ten of Pentacles a bunch of different ways, but one way you can read it is, you know, happy home, happy family kind of, because, you know, there's a family on the card. It's like a card of building or leaving a legacy. You can also read it as this old man representing a beggar. He can represent a person who maybe you feel like has nothing to offer, but actually has a lot to offer, can can bring you many different things. It might not be a person. That's the thing with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, Ten of Pentacles could be like a book, could be like a YouTube um, video, <laughs> could be something, but it's kind of a card of seeking information. Uh, and a lot of people have been getting these messages of seeking information. The other thing is, is that you have the star card here and there's an ibis in the back of the star card. I'll show you in just a minute. And the ibis also, again, represents knowledge. So. There's a lot here about you kind of learning. Again, you're not the only sign that's had something similar to this, but uh, I would say that yours is actually going somewhere. <laughs> that's the difference here, Virgo. In the area of your thoughts, you have the Six of Pentacles. I feel like people are very, very focused on this in the first place. Six of Pentacles is simply equal give and take. It is kind of like giving to one thing. He, you can see here he's giving to one thing, not the other, but it can represent kind of giving to things that matter, basically giving to the situations in your life that return energy to you. So I feel you are very focused on kind of making sure that you give energy to the things that matter to you, whatever the hell that means to you. It could be giving money to your business, giving energy to your business, could be giving your love to your business or people in your life, pretty much anything, um, you know, in all situations. And I really feel that here um, with this Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of uh, giving in the right way is really what I'm getting. Uh, next, in your foundation, love it. You show up as yourself, as the hermit. You know, to me, whenever this happens, it pretty much just says you're kind of coming up in a position of power and strength. So basically, it just kind of puts you in a position of power when you show up as yourself. So I feel that you're showing up as a, in a good position here. Everything about him represents knowledge. You can see that he has a gray cloak, gray beard, gray everything. So he has a lot of knowledge and wisdom, which we've been talking about this whole time. In the area of your past, you have the Four of Cups. I do feel just that you've experienced things not working out as you want them to. He's sitting under this tree and he's been kind of meditating or hoping that maybe the grass is greener on the other side in some area of his life, but he's experienced some disappointments. I don't really consider the Four of Cups to be a card of disappointments, but he kind of has experienced disappointments because he's not manifesting the reality uh, that he desires. But enough of that because I know I'm moving quickly through the first part of this reading, but I want to get to this right here. <laughs> this is what's important, the star. I feel you are putting the correct vibrations out. You can see here in this pool, this is the pool of universal consciousness, and she is pouring the water into that pool. And the water is kind of rippling out into the you know universe, existence, whatever. I feel like something has changed in your vibration. I feel like you can feel it, maybe even literally on the day that you watch this video because 
It feels like something that is very, very recent to me, this change in your vibration. You can also see the Ibis that I was talking about here. He sees the big picture. He also kind of represents knowledge and wisdom. So I feel learning would be very beneficial for you here. I also feel like you're not afraid to kind of like spread the wealth with this star card energy. And I don't necessarily mean money, by the way. I feel you could be just spreading good vibes, you know, lifting people up, um, offering kind words, you know, anything that could lift people up. I think is a good idea here. But you're also kind of like popping out here because you go hermit, star, ace of wands. To me, that is very, you know, popping out into the world <laughs> type of energy. And I feel like you're feeling very inspired as well. Uh, next, over the next few months, you have the Knight of Pentacles. What are you waiting for? I keep, you know, I, if I was being super, super picky about the energy over the next few months, I would say like, if you're thinking about starting something, I mean, just start it in the smallest way you can right now because we're, we're entering into these retrogrades. You know, we already have Jupiter retrograde and other retrogrades. We're going to have Mercury going retrograde and Mars going retrograde in October. And so what I would say is, like, I would get started on something now because it's like, you know, you want the energy to be able to work on it. <laughs> it's like if you're thinking about starting a new project, a new business, a new relationship, it's like you're going to want to start now so that you kind of have the energy to carry you through. I'm not saying that you can't. And again, I'm a big fan of starting things during retrogrades, mostly because everybody says don't do it. It's like I've started so many things that I still do to this day under retrogrades. It's like, did things change after the retrograde? Yeah, but for the better. So, you know, I'm not afraid to start during retrogrades. What I would say is I feel like a significant slowdown in the energy, especially this year. So I feel like you're going to want some momentum. Knight of Pentacles is basically like, what are you waiting for? In the area of your closest relationships, what are you waiting for? Three of Wands. Three of Wands is the card of foresight, kind of. Really, the Two of Wands is, but he also sees things coming in before they show up. And really, that's the energy I'm getting, which is interesting, because again, Three of Wands isn't really an energy of foresight. It's more kind of an energy of surveying. He is looking out at the water in front of him. We could almost say that he is kind of a leader as well, because he maybe is the person that tells those ships. He's like the harbor master. There are even some tarot books that refer to him as the harbor master. He's like telling those ships in the in the water here where to go. So I feel for a lot of you that you could actually be taking the lead in all your relationships in general. You could be kind of the one that is bringing people together, getting people to socialize. I feel like that would be good for you. But it's also a card of like, what are you waiting for? And there's so such a buildup of energy like going this direction inside of you. This would be you. And here's the energy right here. And you know, I would also say that in the area of your future feelings, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is about feeling very motivated. It is a card of inspiration. It is a card of a passionate new beginning. And you can see right here, there is this castle. That castle is meant to look like it's crumbling, and the Ace of Wands is something new. And the other thing I would say is whenever I get the star and the Ace of Wands together, to me, it's kind of just that one little thing that we need. To me, the star and the Ace of Wands is that spark of hope. You know, the star is hope. This right here is like the spark. So I feel for a lot of you, there could be like a spark of hope that is coming in for you this week where you feel very motivated and Quite simply, I know it seems like I'm speeding through this reading, but I just feel like there's no reason to waste your time <laughs> with a very simple message, right? Uh, the message is get started. Page of Pentacles, get moving and learn as much as you can. Learn as you go. I think if I were to boil this reading down very simply, it would just be a reading that says you're thinking about getting started in something. You feel inspired to start something, whatever it is, doesn't matter. And the Page of Pentacles and all the learning cards, I feel like you're saying learn as you go. You don't need to know all the answers right now. So that three ones in the page, Knight of Pentacles I feel are kind of like saying, don't wait to get started, right? <laughs> uh, let's dig into this. I like simple readings uh, because again, usually when they're simple, it's like we only have one thing to work on. It makes our week a lot easier, right? So let's look at this uh, judgment card in this 10 of pentacles. You have the ace of cups. Ace of cups is your emotions overflowing, being very happy. It, it, I do feel that it's kind of weird because I feel that a lot of us could be very logical head, you know, head energy at this time. And I feel that we maybe need to be kind of go back to the heart a little bit. It's kind of weird because I remember like a couple weeks ago, I feel, I felt like everybody kind of need, needed to bring the energy up to their head. And um, now I feel kind of things maybe need to balance out between the two, right? Uh, you know, I talk about this a lot. You know, um, one of my favorite people of all time, Greg Braden, talks about when your head and your heart become one, you can move mountains. And it's like, maybe that's a balancing that's happening. It's like the energy shot to your head, but maybe you need a little bit of energy down here in your heart so that you can kind of move some mountains here, Virgo, is what I feel. 
with that, and, and, and how can you do that? Then the Ace of Cups just says do things that fulfill you, right? With the Six of Pentacles, you have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is, I feel like it's talking about the pause, right? And here's what I mean by the pause. When we get into a relationship, sometimes I think we give too much energy and we don't like allow the person to return energy to us. So we're, especially as spiritual people, right? We give too much. So it's like we put a bunch of energy in, we keep putting energy in, we don't like wait for a return. I feel like some of us spiritual people, I don't know, I've just seen it in a lot of us, not all of you, of course, but I'm sure there's exceptions, but I see it where it's like maybe we're afraid of the pause where it's like you put a lot of energy in, wait for the response, right? And I kind of feel like I'm getting that here. And this is not just in love, by the way, here, Virgo. I feel this is kind of like saying, if you want to be in a position of power this week, kind of wait for the the response. Reminds me of like negotiation, right? The person, it's usually the person that is doing the talk and that loses, right? <laughs> it's like the person who talks the least is usually the one that wins in sales, negotiation, things like that, right? So I feel like this is kind of saying, you know, give something to the other side, wait for a response, then you can respond, right? With the Hermit, you have the Queen of Wands. Uh, I feel like you've been getting the Queen of Wands the most out of everyone. Pretty much everyone has been getting the Queen of Wands quite a bit in my readings, but I feel like you've been getting it maybe the most recently. And the Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, really going for something. And I really feel that the universe is trying to kind of empower you here, Virgo. I feel good about your readings. I have been for a little while here, but this, I'm telling you right now, this diagonal is dope. <laughs> this energy is amazing. I feel like if you're trying to attract love, for example, that Queen of Wands says you're very attractive at this time. You could be getting a lot of attention. I'm a big fan of attention right now as long as it's positive attention. I've been telling people for a long time that I think we all need to get as much attention as we possibly can. Why? Because of the star. Let's clarify it. With the star, you have the magician. Get as much attention as you possibly can. Exactly what I just said. The star is kind of like Aquarius, obviously. In Aquarius, we are entering into the age of Aquarius. I believe that the age of Aquarius is really about all of us becoming our own little star and shining our light, whatever that means for you. Even the hermit, you, has he has his lantern out. The lantern has the star in it, but the star is in his lantern. It's like he's not um, sharing his talents, gifts, skills, and abilities. So I feel like there, it's time for you to maybe kind of re reveal yourself. It's funny that I said kind of like coming out, and I don't mean you're coming out, Virgo, although maybe some of you are. But what I would say here is with that um, magician, you know, magician is about reinventing yourself. And so some of you might be kind of reinventing yourself, changing who you are in a, in a much bigger way. With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the a Nine of Pentacles. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence, of course, but it is a card of gratitude and luxuries. And I feel if you're wondering, like, is the juice worth a squeeze? I would say yes. <laughs> you know, especially if that Knight of Pentacles is you thinking like, oh, I want to start this business, but, you know, am I ready? Or am I going to get a result? I feel like that Nine of Pentacles is simply confirmation. I really don't feel like anything else about it. With the Three of Wands, you have the Nine of Cups, Two Nines. Two Nines to me represents newness in the tarot. So definitely something new coming in for you with this energy. I also feel there's a lot of fulfillment coming in with this Nine of Cups. Um, but the, you know, the Nine of Cups really with the, the uh, Ace of Cups is really needing to focus on doing things that lead to more fulfillment. And what I mean by that is it's like if there are um, things that you enjoy, hobbies, things like that, that provide you with fulfillment, if there are social circles that provide you with energy, I just feel like it would be a good like, kind of way to recharge. With the Ace of Wands, you have the Six of Wands. Did you have the Six of Wands again? No. Uh, but anyway, Six of Wands, card of excellence, card of attention. Like I said, this diagonal is amazing for you, Virgo, especially if you're doing anything that involves getting attention. Could, this could be anything. Could be getting love. This would say put yourself out there. Obviously, there's something very passionate uh, coming in for you. Uh, so, I, and it could be another earth sign, by the way. You have a lot of earth here, so it could be another earth sign, or it could be a person who has a lot of earth in their chart. So, I do feel it would be a very earthy person as far as love is concerned. For others, I feel like, and, and by the way, you've been going through this reinvention for a while because I've been saying this to you for a while <laughs> that I feel like you're going through some sort of transformation, some sort of reinvention, and I see it here. You could just be reinventing your business, how you present your business, and all this other stuff. I would, like, again, 
you know, it's like one of those things. I would be a little bit more bold if I were you. I'm not telling you what to do. And again, I don't think tarot should tell you what to do, but I kind of feel there's some encouragement here that's saying it would be, it's perfectly safe for you to be a little bit more bold in your approach. I don't know. I feel like one of you needs to hear that where it's like, maybe you're putting things out into your business or you're making presentations or, you know, any of that stuff. I feel like this is kind of saying, I'm, I'm not saying there's fear here, but I feel like it's saying, you know, don't be afraid to like really lay it all out there, lay it on the line, lay it on the line, right? And you know, it reminds me of one of my favorite people of all time. His name was uh, Clayton Makepeace, and I believe it was him. He was a famous copywriter, and he said uh, that I, I think he is the one who came up with um, kind of putting the guts on the table <laughs> was was one of his sayings, right? Where basically when you're he used it for sales, like in sales, it's like people have to know like all the guts, all the stuff that they're dealing with when they have a problem. And he specialized in I think like health writing, basically. So you know people would have a lot of problems for the things that he was writing about. And uh, so he really had to put everything out there. And, you know, usually that led to more sales. I'm not saying this is sales, but what I'm saying is if you're presenting, if you're doing any of that stuff, you know, YouTube, whatever, I feel like it's kind of saying that people actually kind of appreciate the guts, you know, even though it might be gross, even though they might be dealing with a problem uh, in their life. Maybe you're uh, helping people online or something like that. I feel like talking about the problem is going to help them uh, relate to you more. I don't know. Someone needs to hear that. <laughs> with the Page of Pentacles, you have the uh, Two of Swords. Uh, everybody's been getting the Two of Swords. Two of Swords says, uh, go to this new island. It says it is basically just the same where you are. So it is definitely time for a change here, Virgo. But pretty interesting reading. I love where this is going. It gives me glow up vibes. So I like to see that. But thank you for being here, Virgo. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.